Hi all, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create funny face deformations without using any face deform pack. And then rig face parts or hair with the help of Blender. Now I will show you some example I have created. It is kind of dancing nose. By the way, you can use this method to rig hair or create some dreadlocks. For this tutorial, you will need Spark AI Studio version 94 or higher, then uh, Photoshop, Blender, Face Reference Assets, and Swing Patch. I have prepared for you. All the files will be available on my Gumroad. So let's begin. We are going to Brother and typing Spark AR Face Reference Assets, click into first link, download into Face Reference Assets, then we have to unpack this. Now we are going to folder Face assets and copying the path to this folder. We are going to Blender, create new, general, click A on your keyboard and then delete, then file, import, fbx, paste your path to the folder, mesh, face mesh, fbx. So, now we have to select our face, switch to edit mode, switch to faces, and turn on proportional editing. Then we have to choose these four faces and click on move. By the way, you can choose uh, so many faces as you wish with shift and then just click on it. But we need just this four. So, we'll try to move the faces. It's not working because proportional size is too big. You can scale it down just with your mouse wheel. So, scroll up. And you see the error is shrinking. So we will make the nose just a little bit bigger. I think it's okay now. Then we'll go to object mode. We will click on wireframe. Then we will click on add amateur single bone. Then we have to scale it down with S on our keyboard and then you can rotate it with R on keyboard and make sure that your bone fits perfectly into your nose. I will move it a little bit with G on my keyboard then I will go to edit mode Select the end of the bone, then click E on your keyboard to extrude. So I will add 5 bones, but you can add 10 or 100. OK, then we have to make sure that all bones fit in perfectly into our nose. I will move them a little bit, so it's okay now. Okay, the next step, you have to go to object mode and then 
select O with A on your keyboard, go to Object, Parent, with Automated Ways. To make sure that everything is working fine, we will go to both mode and we will try to rotate our bone with R and see if everything else is moving also. Okay, it's working perfectly fine. So we are going now to File, Export, FBX. We are going to our folder. I will go to my project folder and I will export my file. So then I will go to Spark AI Studio and I will add my file. So untitled, open, then we will add object to face tracker. We will put our untitled under our face tracker. Then I will go to face tracker, texture extraction, face tracker, texture. And then I will choose shader type flat, texture, face tracker, texture. So it's working now, but not good. Uh, I will show you one example how you can animate one bone. So we have here armature, face mesh, skeleton, bone, first, second, third, and fourth bone. Uh, we are starting with, so it is our first bone, we are starting with our second bone. I will drag a face tracker to our patch editor, then I will connect 3D rotation to head 3D rotation and then I will go to bone number 2 by the name is bone 001 I will copy my rotation and paste it as default values Okay, not working. I will write it by my hand. So 82 and 174. And then we will connect a rotation with this patch. So as you see, it's working now and you can change the speed. So let it be 10. Let's see what will happen. Okay, 3. Okay, it's working now. But we have a face mesh on our face. So for this one, we are going to Photoshop, File, New, Create. Then file, open, uh, go to your folder with the project, face assets, textures, and face feminine or masculine, doesn't matter. Click on open and we will create a new layer, unlock this layer, then we will click on layer 1, we will click on brush tool, we will scale it up, okay, and opacity 100. So. We have just to select our nose, so draw over it, something like this, it will be our contour.
Okay, a little bit more. So I think it's okay now. Uh, we will hide our layer with face. More paint. And then we will click File, Export, Quick Export as PNG8. Go to our project and export save as face feminine. Okay, we are going to Spark and we will add asset import from computer face feminine and then we will go to our default material uh, click on alpha and texture will be face feminine then blend mode alpha and as you see just our nose is here not the whole face mesh so the next step uh, you have to do uh, this you have to connect this patch with every next bone so i will connect it one more time and one more time okay then copy the default values so here it is three three and three then connect rotation to our patch okay next bone it is 1.3 4 almost 4 and 1 connect rotation then bone number 3 it is mi minus 0 0.04 4 ah i'm sorry German uh, 0 0.5 and minus 2 connect it and <laughs> enjoy your result so as I have said you can use this method also to rig and animate hair dreadlocks so have fun guys thank you for watching subscribe to my channel i will do more cool tutorials uh all project files will be on my gumroad subscribe to youtube like comment and see you next time bye bye